Yeah, what's going on? Yeah, first I recorded another video before this one. And uh, that'll come on after this one. But instead, I don't know how long this is going to be. This should be short. And I'll probably try to incorporate my little exchange with Michi X uh, in this video if I should feel like it. <clears throat> but as a lot of you know, I had another interaction with Michi X. Actually, I was not expecting her to show up and I wasn't even going to get in on that show. But since it kept going on, I said, you know what? Why don't I put my two cents in it? Because I hadn't seen the video he was talking about. And I just started watching a little bit of it. And I saw it looks like the same routine, but I, I eventually watched the whole video of Michi X. Same routine, crying, pretending to cry, that is. And, um, you know, this is it's, everything is designed about getting money. That's what it's all about. I'm giving it up. And I said on that show, if she were real about that, you wouldn't have to make an announcement. You just give it up. But when you make an announcement, that means you're looking for something. It's like the same thing when <clears throat> somebody needs money for their rent or a bill. You say, damn, out loud, man, I wish I had money to pay my bill this month. That means when you say it, you're saying it to somebody hoping that somebody says, well, I got you. That's what that's all about. And that's the reason why she said what she said. Now, Brandon, he's back on that bullshit again. But he said that Meechex gave him $1,000 for nothing to go to court against Tariq Nasheed. And she's supposed to be a so-called businesswoman teaching people about economics, but she's going to give away a thousand dollars for some shit like that. So obviously Brandon wanted to pull down his pants, oil his butt up and bend over for me X because she gave him that thousand. Now giving her respect, that's one thing, but damn it, don't, don't volunteer to be a hoe. Shit. That's not what she paid you for. But obviously he's looking for more money since uh, she paid him that. So I had a feeling he was going to act funny. But first I was on first and then she came on. And I, was, I knew she was going to not last long because I was up there. I was even surprised that she came on. I think she was probably waiting in the back. I probably came on first and then she probably came on right after. So he probably knew he had to let her up. And of course, as is customary, he lets everybody else go before me, even if I came on first. Or before them. So, and I was not going to disrespect her because I don't do that. But what I did know, I, I knew it was going to get cut short one way or the other. I knew she was going to leave, but she was about to leave. So I said, let me interact with her while she's here instead of waiting. So, you know, she did the same old routine. I know who you are. You notice I'm, I'm a call name. I'm gonna be real. Gotta call names. And this is not troublemaking. This is, I'm just going by what I've witnessed over the last couple of years. Michi X, Dane Calloway, Sarah Sutton Seti, uh, Tariq Nashi, now, Taharka Bay. Those are the five people off the top of my head who know who the fuck I am. But act like they don't know. And they make sure not to mention my name. And they do it on purpose. Because they don't want to act like they're affiliated with me. And of course they don't want to give me shine. Because obviously I'm making sense by the shit I say. And of course I'm a petty YouTuber. And I'm a black man. So you know, I'm insignificant. But she used to say my name before. A lot of times in videos, which you've seen in the past. And uh, after a while, somebody got at her and told her not to say. How do I know? Because she makes sure to 
to not say my name. And I made, just to play along with her, I said, you know what? I'm not going to say my name. And if you notice, so you can't accuse me of clout chasing. Because if you notice, I never say, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, uh, or sub to my channel. I never say that. Because I don't want people to say that I'm clout chasing. Which all of them are clout, clout chasing, of course, because obviously, you know, you're not going to collaborate with other people or other scam artists. Because they're all supposed to be so-called black activists. Even though one of them is Polish. I got this for a Polish lady once again. And I don't know if it's because she got pussy and titties or, is, or if it's simply because she's Polish. But so many people call her a queen, a sister, this, that, and the other. And these same people will say that mulattoes are not black. But for some odd reason, Michi X is an exception to the rule. And she said that I call her a mulatto. I didn't call her a mulatto. So I don't really use that word. I quote other people who use that word. So, you know, she seemed like she was going to be nice, but I think, you know, she was just terrified and thinking that I might, go, she, I, she might be forced to answer some questions that she may not want to answer. And in a way, I kind of formulate my discussion to keep them guessing. And to keep them concerned. That's why I know that some people run. Instead of saying, you know what? If you got some questions to ask me, you know, ask. And then, of course, others, they use the tactic of being extremely long-winded. Uh, and then, then, you know, that's a tactic they use to, to not really answer questions. And to, not, and to make sure that you keep your questions limited. And then when you interrupt and you say, okay, I, I get your point. And then, well, hold on, hold on, brother. I'm, I'm not done yet. God damn, we got to be another half hour. God damn. Tactics. That's all they do. So that's why she came in. And that's why she ran. Because she's paranoid. See, I don't know if she really listens to the videos carefully. And I saw some people in the chat saying, how do I know what she's going to do and all this kind of stuff? Because there's a pattern, an easy pattern. Her origins tell you what it's all about. It's always about money. It's never about so-called justice. Some people are like, you can't give away nothing for free. Well, motherfucker, who asked you to become a black activist? You did. You did it on your own. And then you say you're going to pay for it. That's not activism. That's business. Or in these circles, it's scamming. And then she got the nerve to cry, talking about, I'm tired of this. I ain't doing this for you niggers. She, see, if these people really cared about you, and being the fact that she's a half-white supremacist, and every time she calls you a nigger, that's the white side calling you a nigger. They would never call you a nigger if they really cared about you. Just like if you cared about your mother, you won't refer to your mother as a bitch. Hey, bitch, what's for dinner? Hey, bitch, you going to take care of your grandchildren tonight while I go to the movies? You're not going to do that. Because you love your mother and you respect your mother. That's how you know that these people don't love us and they don't respect us. Meech X is talking about quitting the black activism career, so to speak. Nobody asked her to become a black activist. 
And a black activist, you can't put that on your resume. I'm a, I'm a black activist. Well, ma'am, aren't you Polish? Don't worry about that. I'm a black activist. That's why Negroes can't get anywhere. Because they would diss the true black man over a white supremacist. Or a suspected white supremacist. And the reason why I'm saying that is because she's half Polish. Every time you bring this up, they got excuse after excuse after excuse. But then they shit on Kamala Harris. Who's blacker than Michi X on both sides of her parents. So. This hypocrisy that that black people have. This is a serious problem. Matter of fact, this coincides with the Cleopatra. You know, they always repeat controversies every generation, it seems. You got some Negroes like Afro Think Tank. I'm calling I'm calling out names. <laughs> well, he's a suspected Negro, but he looks like a, a definitely a Southeast Asian. He says that white people can have Cleopatra. And I ask, why can they have her? Some of them say, well, she whored herself out to Caesar and Mark Anthony. Yeah, she did. But see, when you look at her history, she was power hungry and had her sister killed. But she also was trying to stave off Rome from taking Egypt. For that reason, you would think that, uh, what you call them, e uh, Kemetic people or Egypt uh, Afrocentrists would, would like her since she tried to stave off the Roman Empire, but they were coming regardless and they came in more ways than one. Because obviously having babies with uh, Caesar, didn't, that didn't seem to help the situation. But they say you can have her. But yet you want Obama. You want Michi X. How come the Polish people can't have Michi X? Huh? How come they can't have Michi X? Because you want Michi X. Some of you want to do your thing with Michi X. How do I know that? Because every time there's a video made by her, oh, you're so cute. You're so beautiful. Stay pretty, queen. I don't know what being pretty has to do with uh, black activism, but this is what these people talk about. Now, what I say about this Cleopatra situation in regards to a Michi X, if you want to give her away, give Michi X away. Give all these other mixed people away. There are some mixed people who want to be given away. Now, no matter how black in the mind that Michi X may or may not be, the fact remains that she still have polis. Now, uh, I'm, I'm going to tell you, Michi X, because I know you're watching. That doesn't mean I hate you, because you, you never heard me make a declaration. Now, you heard, see, the people you heard make the declaration are the red, black, and green people who say that mixed people are not black. Those are your group of people that you hang around with that said that. You never heard me say that. <laughs> In fact, I halfway, and I ain't trying to be funny with that, but I'm, I'm halfway arguing on your behalf against, uh, uh, against what they say. But at the same time, we know that half of your parentage is, is uh, European. These people always talk about Europeans this, Europeans that. But when it comes to Michi X, all of a sudden, Europeans uh, uh, disappears for some reason. 
And somebody in the chat room was saying, Meech X took after her mother. Or her mother married a white man. So uh, apparently that's the wrong kind of support <laughs> that you should be trying to throw out there. I mean, we got to understand. Miss X refuses to answer questions from years ago. And again, some people say she doesn't have to. Yeah, she doesn't. She doesn't have to be a black activist either. Nobody asked none of these fools to uh, be a black activist. And they never want to show the results. They keep saying we're doing the work. Other people are doing the work. And then when you merely ask a question, it's always just like that crazy ass nation of Islam guy that was in the chat room. Matter of fact, he, you can, he's questionable being a brother too. You look more white than anything else. But they always say the usual. I would question, what are you doing for the community, brother? Yeah, but you can question that. But before you question me, why don't you show me what the fuck you're doing? Because if you can't show it, all you're doing is lying, talking. Putting on shows and selling tickets, that's not black activism. That's business. That's a concert. That's what that is. Selling tickets is a show. It's about getting money. Nobody asked her to give gun lessons. Nobody asked her to give her so-called business courses. We all know where her business comp stems from. It stems from Dr. Boyce Watkins and his master, Charles Wu. They're all Kuhn agent employees. This is why they use and abuse the black people and call us niggers. I, I keep telling you all the time. They call you niggers because they disrespect you. They don't, they don't respect black people. Because most of these same people don't call people white people crackers. Matter of fact, to Harker Bay in his last show, stealing my shit. I know these Negroes watch my videos. Stealing my shit line for line. That's why I get tired of uh, even doing this kind of shit. I, I told people, hey man, you want to steal my shit? Take the old shit. Apparently he took my advice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, damn, I said, God damn, did I write the script for Tarka Bay? He just said, hey, I'll take it. God damn. <laughs> something else, man. These people are something else. I forgot to put prime cuts on, on some shit up. I, I, I'll i do that soon enough. Uh, But Miss X... That's the thing I hate, man. Motherfuckers don't want to say my name, I guess, because they don't want people coming to me and saying, oh, okay, that's where you got some of your shit from. I see. But see, that's business. See, they were real about being black activists and trying to, for me, I'm, it's all about making black people respected in all circles. But if they were really about that, they would work with everybody. It wouldn't be about, well, I have, you know, a lot of these Negroes like bragging about the YouTube uh, counts, but I have 100,000 subs, so I'm a major YouTuber. Actually, with 100,000, you're not really major. Major in black circles, but you're not major uh, from a whole YouTube perspective. So I'm like, I got 30,000. I have a much bigger platform than you do. My subs are obviously uh, being stifled by YouTube. But if you ever catch, you watch my view count versus my subs, how come I'm one of very few YouTubers where my view count not only matches the subs, but usually exceeds the subs. While most others, they might get 25% view count of their subs. 
that tells you something. It tells you that either they're buying views or, or subs or they got a lot of set it and forget it uh, uh, subs who don't watch their videos. That's why I switched to Rumble. I'm waiting, still waiting for them to upload or sync and we'll see how that works out. Might put this video on Rumble. And then I'll be able to better ascertain whether or not Rumble's views and stuff are really real or something that they, you know, put together to make it look attractive. Because what did you have? Yeah, Daily Motion. That was another one. I forgot there was another uh, video channel. And their view counts weren't the greatest. Which showed that they weren't attracting people, but Rumble so far, you know, if this shit is on the up and up, might be the place to go for uh, free speech. But we'll see. We'll see. And again, once you see one prime cut on here, that means that uh, I'm in that zone and you'll see me put up uh, a lot of other shit that was never on YouTube. Since I know these coons, they can't do nothing about it on, on Rumble. So, but as far as Michi X goes, you know she should uh, cut the theatrics. Let me ask her some questions uninterrupted. We don't need X Men coming to her rescue. When I speak, just shut the fuck up and let me do my thing. I have a feeling if we had been on Taharka Bay channel or even on a Tariq Nashi live, I have a feeling that those two would have shut up and let me do my thing. Because there were some people in the uh, chat telling them to do just that. And if you notice how they let each one of them talk, but once I start talking, they make sure to interrupt. You know, those are the usual tactics. Interrupt, try to cut your shit short, and then try to get somebody else to talk and let them talk, and then you can't complete what the fuck you were trying to complete. And they don't know if it was going to be disrespectful or not, but they just assume, since I'm critiquing her and not kissing her ass, that it was going to end up disrespectful. And it's the same cliffhanger with Zsa Zsa Ali. She kept running to, she never knew if I was going to say something respectful in the end or disrespectful, but I'm one who can't run from questions or concerns. I'm a real interviewer. I'm going to ask you some questions that might be sensitive or some questions that might get you mad. But what would I sound like if I didn't ask those questions? I'd sound like these other people. Who just bring people on acting like they're interviewing them just to kiss their asses. And, and who, who the hell needs another interview like that where you already know what they're going to ask and what they're not going to ask? Who needs that? You want to hear the good shit. You want to hear what this person is about. And Michi X is paranoid. And she is the scammer. Uh, I'm telling you that now putting on a black agenda tour that's not black activism and that's not proof that she's not scamming that's only the proof that she is scamming because it's all about money self enrichment now her MX network I don't know about that I haven't seen it but I will say this if uh, you know she should get people a free sample Without the usual uh, credit card shit. Because I don't even know what this shit is about. She's not marketing it too well. But um, she said she might stick with that. And you ain't coming because you ain't paying. Which means it's a cry for pay the M for the MX network. Or we probably won't be able to keep on supporting that shit. That's what that sounded like to me.
But my advice to meet your ex, why don't you show, you know, put a cut together or whatever the fuck is on this MX network. Because she can't act like it's some secret uh, black uh, training camp because it's on uh, Roku <laughs> and some other shit. So we know it's about money. Now, again, I'm not critiquing people you want to get paid. Get paid. But just stop acting like you're trying to help people while you gather their money. Because we know that that's not the case. You're trying to help yourself to people's money. And again, I would love to be proven wrong. And the way you prove me wrong, you just show us what you're doing. Because people say she's doing so much. And the same with the rest of these guys. And Tarka Bay too. He claims he's doing a lot. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. Every time, he, they're always kicking you up for money though. That, that's the number one thing. Tarka Bay. With all his uh, uh, Tariq Nasheed shit going on. Which he still has not uh, hit the home run with that. He's like, oh, we're building this house. We're trying to build this house for the homeless and shit. We have this house. Donate. Donate? Before this Tariq Nashi shit and you popped off, you were rehabbing home homes. People didn't have to donate. Why do they have to donate now? Donate for this. Donate for the trip to California. Donate for the lawsuit. Donate because you hear the clues. So I won't have to be messing up my hands building homes. In other words, I want money so I don't have to work. Now, if they were hustling white people, I wouldn't give a fuck. But they're hustling people with their hopes and dreams. And the ones with the money are probably the ones who already are set in a particular uh, part, uh, 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 arena of their lives where they can donate and feel like, OK, well, I'm helping my brothers and sisters by giving money to these people who claim to be helping the black people directly. As many videos as these people make, you would think that they could show you some videos of their shit. Uh, they're, they're helping black people Being a loud mouth on YouTube Hell even going to a rally Cause you know people who know me from way back You know I've always Said I don't give a fuck about a rally Protesting Fuck all that Sometimes you gotta get busy Shit I was watching some shit Somebody put up uh, the other day about some rapper, uh, not rappers, but some graffiti artists in Newark back in 1986. And people might, some people might, might be shocked to see the, uh, hear the guy almost talking like today. Niggas this, niggas that. Had him what looks like a white or an Italian uh, girlfriend. He got pregnant. Uh, people want to emphasize, oh, they're hanging around a white dude. Shit, man, in the hood, there's always some white dude left over from an Italian hood that used to be there. They, they couldn't make the escape or some shit like that. It, it is always one. I don't mean that they were instrumental in, in uh, our hip hop world and all that kind of shit. They just happened to be there. I mean, shit like that. The part that caught me is it was kind of like Beat Street in a way because they had them display their artwork trying to tell them that they could get picked up by somebody which the guy, you know, he was smart enough to know that that's a one-time deal and they were being used. Beat Street came out before that that uh, clip. Um, and then he decided to try to make money with the graffiti and started selling shirts. But the guy who owned the shop was a fucking uh, Indian. And he was happy. He's like, oh yeah, this is making me a whole lot of money. Being used. And I said, damn, 1986, fucking Indian still had shit. Till today, I mean, goddamn. I mean, how long does it have, have to keep going on? That's why I'm a, a strong advocate for mob style sabotage. Whatever you want to call it. 
to drive these motherfuckers out of business. And then when I said that, I think it was on Brandon's show. Yeah, matter of fact, it was on his show, the last show. He's like, then who's going to, you know, the usual nigga shit. Who's going to take up the uh, slack? Who's going to have the business? Somebody will. Fuck. See, on the one hand, you complain about the Korean, the so-called Arab, East Indians, Chinese, Turks, and even some of these Hispanics. But then when people t- like me come up and say, shut them down one way or the other. Ah, oh, no, we can't do that. We need them. You don't need them. You're living in a new world now, right? You can order groceries online. Have the shit delivered. Now, I know some people are like, I ain't paying no extra $4 or whatever the fuck they might charge. Well, I tell you what, I paid an extra $4 when I got that chili from Sam's Club. Because that was the only way they delivered it to the car. And at the prices I got that shit from, $2 a uh, uh, a, a box. And it must have been something. I don't know what the fuck goes on with that Sam's Club app. Must be some type of glitch or something in it. <laughs> but I should have bought even more. But I think, what did I buy? I think I bought six. Still got some. Then I saw the regular price went up. To, it went to 12 bucks. So I got the deal of a lifetime. And then I noticed that they have some chocolate covered, dark chocolate peanut, uh, not cups, but something like a bonbon type shit. I think those were normally going for like 10, 12 bucks a piece. I put those shits in the car because that shit was 193. I said, I'm about to rack up on these. But I didn't feel like going that day. And then they took it out the cart. So. They might be getting wise, but again, that, that this is the third product. And I don't know how to pick the product. I just go through the, the app, just looking at shit, see, seeing what they got new. Then I see these prices, and then I'm like, oh, oh, okay. So next time when you see something like that, jump on it. And you got to do the pickup, store pickup, curbside pickup, because... I mean, you could probably have it delivered too, but if you don't want to pay that extra stuff, then that is what it is. But if you go in there trying to get it yourself, then the price isn't going to come up, you know, with that $2 price tag. But anyway, it's getting hot in this car, so I'm about to cut this one short. But to Brandon, I say, stop being a hoe. Yeah, I know $1,000, yeah, comes in handy if you paid it to the lawyer. That's another thing. He, he begs for money, too. First, he said he got thriving businesses. You damn right I'm hating now. <laughs> after, after that shit you pulled. They got thriving businesses in Africa. But they always need some money. Cash at me this. Cash at me that. I'm broke. Even if they are well off or even if they're not well off people always want more money and if they can get them from suckers why not but as is the case with YouTube whether it's not the side net or anybody else I'm glad I brought him up because it reminds me of somebody else I'm about to get into which wasn't playing you know they always have some reason that they need money because it's free money. That's the bottom line. Which reminds me, you got that guy in France, my op forever. This guy is totally obsessed with black Americans or black or people who purport to be black Americans. Our culture, New York, New York time. Now he's selling merchandise. I'm like, what the, what is your merchandise for? First, he had a membership, join my shit. Pay $5 a month or whatever to join. Pay $5 a month to be able to chat. You talk about another motherfucker who's uh, got heavy duty censorship. Scared straight to even, uh, I don't even want to say debate. But to discuss things. Got to put up roadblocks just just so either he wants money or he wants you to show your face. 
showing face. That's agent shit. Money. That's scammer shit. So you got merchandising for what? Fuck one by his merchandise. He can't even stand on his own. He always wants somebody, Sarnet or whoever the fuck, to go on his channel and have a fucking debate. So he can control shit, mute you, act like he's showing the screen when he's not showing the screen. <laughs> All types of shit. I will go and deal with somebody in a neutral channel just so people like that who like to mute and, and bullshit... They can't do that shit. They don't want to do that because they know they don't have an advantage anymore. If you notice me, wherever I show up on somebody's channel, I don't have to go train to have a discussion or a debate on whatever the subject matter is. I'm here. Let's do it now. That's how I do it. This my uh, forever. This guy, I mean, I never seen a person more obsessed. He tries to talk like us, act like us, use our slang. <laughs> he is so obsessed with black Americans. Worrying about police, worrying about FBI. I ain't got nothing to do with you. Why don't you worry about gay Perry? I mean, Perry, that's a big uh, place. I know there's got to be some shit going on there. Hell, you might be on the brink of a civil war after a while. Shit, you should be on the streets talking about that. <clears throat> I mean, damn. These people are something else. But to close out, because I don't think this is going to be an hour. To close out, you see how these so-called black, pro-blacks and all these people, they will coon out, go against their own beliefs that they tell us are their beliefs in favor for their white queen who they want to call a black queen. But if she were not a black, so-called black activist, she would be routinely called a mulatto. Biracial. Meet you X, you're not black. That's what they would keep saying to you. But in the world of scamming black people, she's a soul sister. She's a queen. I'm sure they want some pussy too. You know how that shit goes. But it is what it is and these people stay lying and they stay being hypocrites. So with that, I'm out. Spend seven dollars a day on a latte. I think I could swing thirteen dollars a month for the MX Network, and there's some good stuff up there. Uh, go ahead, Michi. Hi, I ain't gonna be here long. You can hear me, okay? Yeah, I can hear you good. I just wanted to um just be clear and just say um that all those people that Angela named on that petty ass post that she put out there. Um, none of them motherfuckers sold one ticket to my conference. Let's be real. So I would like everybody to know that this is the 10th black agenda I've done. I know what kind of people I put in the room. The same people that have always supported me were some of the same people there. I am the one that for two days took over 300 pictures because 98% of that room came to see Michi. The whole point of it was for them to come together with me and bring even more people in the room so that they could have a platform. The Black Agenda is not about me. It is about highlighting the people that are doing work within the community. If anybody was there, like Goddess Masterpiece, they will tell you that I spoke the least you have ever heard me speak in my damn speaking life that y'all have seen of me. This was not about me. And I did fly a lot of people in. And no, I do not pay people for the Black agenda because if I got to fucking pay you to help us do something for the community when I am trying to raise money to give to you guys that I'm flying in, no, I'm not paying you. If I have to pay you, then don't fucking come. Okay, so let's be clear and let's also be clear why people have stuff to say in the chat that I gave away tons of tickets for people to come there because I'm not about selling the answer. But I do believe that if I'm doing something for the community, I shouldn't have to always come out of my pocket. Y'all could at least help me pay for the event. 
but I paid almost $8,000 of my own money to make this happen, okay? So let's be clear about that while people tell me I'm just about the money. I ain't never made a bag off one damn conference. The next thing is, for all of these stupid people that was supposed to come the next day, Q was there, Q got his money. You didn't even show up the day I was supposed to give you your money. There were sponsors in the room that were ready to give these folks some money and some support, and y'all so damn dumb, you fucked your own self. You didn't even show up to get what you were supposed to get. I did this to give them notoriety. So I want to be clear one more time and then I'm going to go. But all those people with Angela name, let's be clear. The Joe Collins guy, I didn't even have him on the fucking flyer and didn't even know this nigga was coming. She said he was going to come at the last minute. He lives in Georgia. So what the fuck did he do but drive? Kwame Kilpatrick, while people are saying I beef with Kwame, that's not Kwame Brown. It's Kwame Kilpatrick. And he lives in Georgia too. So the nigga just drove there. So let's be clear. <laughs> right. That's what I was thinking. I was like, these people drove there. Angela live in Georgia. Right. And Judge Joe Brown, he was very respectful. He didn't do anything wrong. And even on my video, I was clear about that it wasn't everybody. Judge Joe Brown said to me, look, I could come Saturday, but since I don't have a job on Sunday, I got to go home. We flew Judge Joe Brown home Sunday morning. I wasn't expecting him to be there, but I paid for everything for him. He was very pleased with everything and very appreciative, said he had a great time. So let's be clear about that. And then she talks about Simon Gold. Let's, let me be even more clear. That's the fucking why. White lady. And yes, it's the black agenda, but I let her get up there because she is a doctor that deals with vaccinations and she wanted to give us information about the black community and how vaccinations affect us different. So since she's actually a doctor, I gave her that moment. OK, right. it was not on the flyer at all. So let me tell you, I want to be real, real clear. Not one motherfucker on that list that she named brought a single ticket in that room. So I need them to shut the fuck up. Well, most people don't None even know who these people are. Nobody came in there because of Kwame. Nobody came in there because of Judge Joe Brown. Nobody talked, bought a ticket for a white lady that didn't know what's coming. And nobody bought a ticket because of Joe Collins because he wasn't even on the goddamn thing. So I just want people to know that. So all of that, they came because I asked them. So I would challenge her to go throw a conference with those same names and see if you could put fucking 300, over 300 people in the room and have hundreds of people watching. Because I've been to your events, ma'am. And that's all I'm going to say. I'm going to go. But thank okay. you. Okay. Well, thank you for, for letting me up. speak. I'm and tired. Next I'm time, hey, and next time you do some self defense, I will fight the person in front of you who you're going to have to teach self defense and whoop their ass just to show you I can teach self defense better than them. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, hey, what's, you what's, up, me Michi X? what's up? Yeah, what's up? <laughs> this is a uh, hard call. He is our resident weirdo, Michi. Just, uh, I, I know who he is. Res right. Resident intellectual. Right. right. Now, now, is it real? Is this serious that you said that you're thinking about quitting this activism? What is the purpose of what you want to ask me? I know who you are and you've never had anything good to say about me. And I'm going to tell you right now, it's people like you that are part of the reason why I'm sick of this shit. So if you're going to come up here and talk to me to be an asshole, I don't want to talk to you, bro. I'm, no, I'm, serious. It's, I'm serious. And I'm serious, too. So I'll answer your question. But if you're going somewhere to be an asshole, I'm done with this shit. OK, OK, because okay, cool. I know who you are. No, I'm a nobody. I'm I'm just the average. No, I know uh, who you are when it comes he, to all this he, shit that you talk tend, about. He he, Michi, in his defense, he tends to behave himself on this channel. So okay. answers well, questions. You know, over the years, he's made a lot of videos about me. I'm yeah. a mulatto. Where the hell I got my ex? I'm fake and I'm a fraud. So see, <laughs> if, well, if, well. If, if you think that about me, no, I like I said in my video, like, congratulations. I'm a fake. I'm a fraud. I'm going to go away. So just leave me the fuck alone. I'm okay. sick of this shit. And I'm not up here to argue with you motherfuckers no more. I'm tired of being a woman and have to argue with you sorry ass men. So if you don't want to be serious with me, just please leave me the fuck alone. You well, won't. Nigga, I'm going away. You don't have to worry about my fake ass no more. Well, ma'am, if you would please give me the opportunity, I can... Sh okay, we'll see. That goes to show she's fake uh, because she can't... No, she can't hey, take don't it. start. Don't start. Don't start, Alquan. You know I snatch your ass up off the panel. <laughs> And that's why I almost I was, took. I almost didn't let you up. So I, I, say knew, what you I knew what you I knew what you were thinking. That's why I was staying quiet. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I almost didn't let your ass up. So say what you got to say. I mean, she's sick of it. And the and the thing is, I've been there, and that's kind of why all my attention goes towards Africa now. Because at a certain point, you just get tired of trying to help people who don't want to. Like even you, you joking with her, right? But at the same time, it's like, bro, if she don't do it, who gonna do it? You gonna do it? The next person uh, down the street gonna do it? No. Uh, I told people a long time ago, if I, you give me a bag, I'm doing it. 
Uh, but I'm not but doing it. Ain't, it. it ain't as much money in this as people think. Like no, it's it ain't about really getting no rich. money it's about, in it. It's about lawyers and, and stuff like that. Bail. Because if you plan on doing real real activism, those are things you're gonna need. Uh I'm just saying, my man, why would you if you see she's in a space emotionally, why would you choose that time to like yeah. Well, I didn't even say anything. Well, she she it's what you said before, but the point is Well no, she she thought I was gonna go in a particular direction, the, which I wasn't but, gonna but do. But the but the point is when you talk about you got to get bail money and all that stuff, that's just armchairing it because she's physically doing something. I mean, she, she had a conference. She was teaching skills. People were learning. Like, boiling water in the case of a disaster, pre preparation, like, for any event, that's big. Alquan, you know well, that. Well, you know, we learned that in third grade. But No, 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 we didn't. A lot of our people didn't. You can't take well, your personal experience. You might have been in the Boy Scouts. A lot of people in the inner city and stuff did not learn that. So I mean, she's doing people a can't service. can't be that dumb now. Come on. Come on, Alquan. You you believe you're Indian, bro. So that but, shows us but, but we let me say pretty let stupid. Me, let me say this. Man. Believe me, I'm not going to get disrespectful. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm a respectful person. But at the same time, I got to keep it real, as I always have to. Now... I did watch a little bit of her video, and she did say that she's going to quit this stuff. But, of course, if she really was going to quit, she wouldn't really announce it. She would just quit. But announcing it means that, hey, make it so that I don't have to quit. So the first thing we have to understand is I'm still trying to figure out the particular activism that she's do, actually doing. Do, do you understand what a person who does who like vlogs does? Literally, they communicate their feelings to their audience. That's why people watch them, Alquan. That's why people come listen to her because she's telling her audience how she feels inside. It's like writing a journal, but you're just sharing your thoughts with your audience. So right. she's not she's not just doing it to to like get sympathy. She's just saying how she feels. Maybe she's not going to quit. Maybe she is going to quit, but she's telling you how she feels at the moment. So it's really disingenuous to try to, like, criticize her on that well, for being, wait, for being transparent. You don't even but, show your face. Well, I'm not and even trying wait. to. But let me just say, <laughs> you don't even show your face, but you're criticizing someone. Well, I'm ugly, that, so that's why I wait, don't want to hurt the people. You're, you're criticizing someone who puts themselves out there. They go do events with people. They get into get into it with people online. They actually make themselves vulnerable because even her getting on there saying that, dudes like Tariq Nashi Nashida have a field day with that, but she's just trying to keep it real. And that's the problem with our community. When you do open up to black people, you are transparent with them. You show them you're a human being. We start cracking fucking jokes. Like, be a man. Offer some support. Like, even if I don't like somebody in a time of, like, weakness, I can say, like, yo, even though I don't like you or we don't agree, listen, like, the community needs you. Or I can say you need to redirect your efforts to people who appreciate your stuff. Like, we have to take time out to do that because at the end of the day if you crack jokes tear that person down or make that person feel a certain kind of way well who do you got once they leave because ain't nobody trying to hang around your ass let's be realistic Alquan. you well, can't really I, fit in no other community but this one well i hear you uh and that's that's all good and well but you have to understand when it comes to activism the you know when you use a word like that that means you're actually doing something as opposed to saying something and to me i'm not saying that she's not but I'm saying I haven't seen it, but regardless. No, she, she, listen, this is what she believes. <laughs> that, listen, she believes that a certain thing, certain things are going to help our community. And then she goes out and does a conference and teaches what people those things. You have a bunch of things you believe, but you don't get off your couch to go do them. But you're talking about I haven't seen it. But can I ask you a question? Does she, she do these things? Does she teach uh, these uh, unfortunate Negroes these uh, skills for free? Yeah, that event was free. Like she brought a bunch of people for free, and when they come, they're paying the. I'm sure they're paying the cost of admission. But when they get in there, they huh. not only get to hear lectures and stuff and panels with these people. Like people are paying because they want to go and pick the brains of these people sitting on these panels. That's why they're there. Then on top of that, for 150 bucks, they also got a skills skills training. 150 bucks. Well, I don't know how much it was. Somebody said 150 bucks for VIP, right? Good but, Lord. but but listen. They still, they also got skills training the next day, bro. Like, that's pretty good. Like, just one, like, gun training class in Orange County, that's going to run you, like, two-something, three-something for one day. So, at the end of the day, like, if I was in Atlanta, I would have sent me, me and my daughter would have showed up 
to that thing. I didn't even realize that was happening, right? But I've been dealing with some stuff in my personal life. Wait, so but are you telling me that Michi X uh, taught gun uh, shooting as well? She brought someone down there. Go ahead, well, though, Sean. Go well, ahead, Sean. Well, well, he I was there. Really... He was there. Listen, he works with Michi. He was there at the event. Go ahead, though, Sean. Brother Brandon, I'm very sorry to interrupt him like that. I'm a show host myself, but I never interrupt the model. I'm very sorry about that. You're good. Uh, okay, but listen, uh, I'll come on after. You got a little crackling in your mic. You got a little crackling in your mic. I don't know what that is. That's divine intervention. Alcorn. How about that? <laughs> Say okay, something. I'm going Brother Brandon, I'm going to sign back out. Yeah, drop out and come back in. Yes, sir. Is but it yeah, okay like, if I say something real go, quick? Yes, I was go, there as well. go, go ahead, I can, I, Isis. I can't even do my thing, man. Go ahead, Isis. I just wanted to say, like, he can judge and say that she's not doing anything, but I was there, and there were a lot of people who were there that benefited from that. You know, like I said, there were children there learning self-defense classes and how to get like say they get sex trafficked or something they were teaching them how to like escape out of the car how to take care of themselves you know like to you know get uh help quickly and safely and you know teaching them all kind of they had that techniques. Too? yeah she had they had professional people there with the skill sets Man. to go out here and teach people you know you know um, what it's, 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 it's almost starting to sound like Michi X might be one of the Avengers man that's what it sounded like to me it's not about being an Avenger it's about she's at least off the couch like Brandon said and putting herself into the community and trying to get people to learn things like we all know that black people only vote Democrat all the time and she actually allowed Angela Staten King and a, a bunch of other Republicans Republicans to come over there and get a stage where people would listen to them and not go on a long tangent about how much they hate Republicans and are racist and heard some new perspectives. That's what you want in the community. Like we, they talked a lot about re-educating our their, our way of thinking because, you know, the black community, we all talk about this all the time on YouTube, how we think one way or we just continue to do the same repetitive stuff and expect different results. Well, these people were actually there giving different perspectives and everybody got along and, and heard each other. It didn't turn in, there were no fights, there was no shootouts.